Hello Doodle here, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be um, have a quite a spooky vibe to it today. I thought I'd take you on a relaxing sort of spooky journey with my videos and I just thought I'd do a quick um, review of A Haunted in Venice, a film that I went to see recently at the cinema. I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything, I'm just going to give you um, sort of a short review of the film and what I thought of it and if you're thinking of going to see it or you want to see it when it comes out on you know in our homes then then I thought I'd just give you a quick update on what it was like and what I thought of it so if you like sort of dark academia sort of vibes sort of creepy Poirot sort of Agatha Christie type things then you'll really like this movie it's set in venice in the 1940s 1947 i think and everyone's wearing period costumes and it's all set in an eerie sort of um venetian castle type house dark house and it's creepy and it's it's based on the book by agatha christie halloween party and it's loosely based around the book. It's not like the book, but it's loosely based around the book. So if you like sort of dark, ghostly, creepy films, then this is a film for you. It's it's sort of a whodunit sort of film. And it's very, um, what I'd say, quite historic. It's sort of a classic. Um, and it sort of keeps you guessing throughout. But it's just, if you want to go and see a film this time of year, especially at the cinema, this is a good one to go and see because it is creepy and it's just got that really sort of dark academia atmosphere that you'd like if you like spooky movies and things like that. I mean, I really enjoyed it. And it sort of made you come away thinking, oh, I'd like to, to read the book now. I'd like to, to, you know, immerse myself in all that sort of thing. Um, it's... I'd say it was it was really the actors were really good in it as well. Uh, I thought the actors played a really really good role in all of throughout the whole of the characters, and it it had a lot of twists and turns in the movie. So if you like that sort of thing, and it was quite fast paced, and the costumes were beautiful, and as I say, the building was beautiful itself. It was it, you know, and the, the gondolas, and you watched the the masked um, gondoliers, I think they're called, uh, going across the, the, the water. It, it was really, really nice. So I'd highly recommend it if you like that sort of thing. Um, so on to the video now, hope you enjoy. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll catch you later.
We've done about haunting in Venice, but haunting in the cinema is no one here. <laughs> seats are like empty. There's nobody actually sitting in the seats at all. a summer dress in mid-October and it's 20 degrees um, and the sun is shining it's a really nice evening but I can't believe it's 20 degrees out here and I'm wearing a dress in what is mid-autumn but just enjoying the evening weather and how nice it is at the moment so you don't get many times like this because it's going to turn cold next week apparently so just making the most of 20 degrees and a summer, like a summer feeling in the middle of autumn.
came across this really old church um, on my travels and I just love going in churches and having a look inside because inside there's always something really nice to look at and I find them very peaceful and very and as you walk in you can smell the musty the, the old musty smell of the wood and the church you can it always smells so nice when you walk into a church and I just love all the designs and, and the vaulted ceilings and the stonework and everything um tell me in the comments if you like to go around churches and have a look in a minute you'll see some of the bell ringing um chords also that i really find fascinating as you walk in the church you don't expect to see those right in front of you it's a really lovely thing and i also found these walnuts a walnut tree and i was quite surprised that this was a walnut tree but it's got the little nut there and on the ground as you can see it's got the nut inside its case so yeah the walnut tree is a lot bigger than i thought it might be